Okay, here we are. Normally where I'm standing right here would be water, just at probably about the edge of the water. As you can see over there, I'd be standing right about the water line where the lake level should be. And in the winter time, the lake level does go down. So normally this time of year, the lake would be a little lower. In the summertime, over here on this rock wall over here, there'd be people out here fishing, casting their lines out here, where I'm walking right now. Lots of zebra mussels piled up all over, but as you can see, the sand really stays retained in this area. So we'll walk out here, you can see how far I am now. Like I said, normally, this would be underwater where I'm at right now. We're in downtown Port Clinton. This is the area where the Portage River dumps out into the Lake Erie. We're gonna see how far out here we can walk. <coughs> I'm gonna walk over here closer to these rocks so you can get a little perspective as far as how deep this normally is. Right, right here, you can see how tall these rocks are. And this path right here, walking out, you can walk all the way out to the end. I'm holding the phone about top of my head and I'm six foot tall. So normally right here, there's probably anywhere from four to five feet of water, probably normally. Going out here, probably closer to six feet out here where it starts to get deeper. You can see how far I'm walking out. It's just crazy to be able to walk this far out into the lake with no water. Now I want to be careful that I don't step in water that is that looks like sand like I did back at Crane Creek. So I'm going to be a little careful right here. Okay, we're still on sand. Still on sand. I walk the lake would be getting deeper so right here you probably be looking at least six feet of water here's a tire laying here you probably be looking at least probably five feet five feet of water probably right here we're going out here <coughs> we're probably 150 yards from shore right now. You see some people over there walking out. You can look, you can see, you can, you can see where the water line starts. And this whole area is just dry. don't get to experience this very often so it is pretty cool to be able to be up here and see this I wanted to see this the last time it happened and was not able to make it up here been around Lake Erie my whole life and uh, never been able to experience this again here you can see over here where I'm at these rocks you can see how high they are so I would say right here, normally the lake is probably at least six feet deep. So we're gonna go out here. Yeah, the water is pretty much all the way out to the end of this pier here, downtown Port Clinton. The water is receded all the way to the end of the channel here at the, where the Portage River empties out. That's the green marker. You can see the red red marker over there for the channel. Red right return, but the red mark buoy on your right hand side when you return to shore, return to port. Oh my goodness, look at this. Crayfish, one of them is still alive. It's frozen. Frozen crayfish. That's 
frozen in there, hard as a rock. The water must have receded down, and now he's froze. That's something else. I can't get him. Can't get that thing out of there. It's frozen in there. That's crazy. It looked like he was maybe alive yesterday. Yeah, you see how far I'm out now? Probably 300 yards out offshore. So let's walk on out here. Now I gotta be careful because it's starting to get a little bit of ice mixed in with the sand. I'm gonna go because this right here is all like pure ice and I think maybe once you got sliding you might not be able to stop yourself going on down to the lake so you can see we're pretty much right out to the end right out at the end here in Port Clinton Ohio right on the other side here would be the channel of the Portage River where it was out in the Lake Erie very popular boating place in the summertime all the boats back in the Portage River Port Clinton area that go out through here to go out to the lake. Normally, if you look out that way, you'd be able to see Putin Bay, but not today. We've got some snow squalls coming through. Different snow squalls coming through right now. So here it is. This is where I'm at. Almost, I'm probably maybe 20 yards from the lake, from the water here. And you can see how far. Crazy. So I'm going to stop this live feed, and then uh, next stop, Tava, Tava State Park. Bring you some video from there, and then we're going to go to the Marblehead Lighthouse. Uh, I've already seen some footage from that, and that looks pretty amazing. So stay tuned and keep checking in. Thanks for watching.